We're going to start working on the layer of snow over our canvas. The first thing I'm going to do is start dry brushing some white, misty, cloudy snow flurries over various areas. So I'm just using a big round dome bristle brush and you can use any type of large dry brush that you have and I'm just loading it with white and I'm scrubbing in a circular motion over the canvas. Just in areas where I want to add that misty cloudy effect of the snow flurries. I'm actually going to come over on top of the raccoon in certain areas just to soften and lose the edges because we want him covered in the snow and he, like he's peeking through it. So you can do some over his arm and shoulder, the edges of his body, come up over top of the, the tree. And you're not doing it so heavy that you're totally covering everything. It's just going to be this dry brushed misty effect. I'm going to go over here to the the actual tree and do some down the center to soften all of our details on the tree. And you can build this up in layers. As it dries it'll soften down and you can see where you might need to add stronger values so you can just go over it multiple times as needed. You can go over some of the highlights on your raccoon if you want. You know, I'm brightening up the, the light areas. So I'm going to continue to scrub this white on and I will fast forward the video so you can see what I'm doing, but I don't think it's necessary for me to talk you through each of these steps since it's very repetitive. Before we go farther, I'm going to take a second here and use a, a small round brush and paint some whiskers in on the raccoon. So I'm just pulling them out from the nose area and pulling it out onto that darker band mask on his face. You want to do this on either side. It helps to turn the canvas if it's at an angle that's easier to pull. So you just want these kind of loose and wispy and different lengths. I'm brightening under his mouth a little bit and adding a little shine to his nose. Just a little streak, some little dots, and a little crescent line. Using a little smaller um, dome dry brush, I'm going to scumble on some snow on these branches. So I'm just dragging that along the top edge of the branch, picking up some white and just dabbing it on, kind of loose and scrubby. I'm 
going to repeat that on the top branch. We just want it to look like snow settled and is piled on top of the branch, sticking to the bark. And drag some down the the side of the tree like it's blown and has caught on to the the bark of the trunk. I'm just kind of loosely dragging this here and there on the trunk of the tree. Now that things are starting to dry, if you want to add some more onto the background to brighten certain areas up, you can dab that on, on top of your dry brushing a little. This can be the heavier little flurries of snow. I'm going to dab some of the snow here on over his body. I want it to look like the flurries are coming in front of him. And over here on the darker area of the chest, put a little bit of that white flurries over. Kind of connects him to the tree, softens that darkness on his chest. Gives a little more depth to the painting. We're going to quickly dry the painting with a hair dryer just to make sure everything's nice and dry and then I'm I tore a piece of paper towel and a triangle to go over the face of the raccoon because I want to protect it a little bit from our snow flurries. So I just set that down and get it to lay flat. And then I'm misting the canvas with a little spray bottle of water. I want some soft, loose snow flurries, so I'm taking a big flat brush with um, a little bit of water in my white paint and loading it, and then I'm going to tap that brushed against the handle of another one to cause little droplets of paint to go on the canvas. Now with that wet, with that layer of water that we sprayed on the canvas, these um, snow flurries will run just a little bit. They'll get a little soft and watery and spread out. So it'll be a nice soft snow effect. You can add as many or as few as you want. And the paper towel in the center is keeping 
these little drops of paint off your raccoon's eyes and nose so we don't um, get too much on there to begin with. So I've added as quite a few snowflakes and I don't know if you can see a little bit, they're starting to bleed a little bit and get soft. I'm drying it and my little paper towel blew off. So I'm going to dry this down to keep these from, from spreading further with the, the water on the canvas. So you want to make sure it gets dry, you don't see any little wet spots. And then you can go back a second time with your paint and tap the little snowflakes on and this layer of snow will be a little bit more precise. Uh, since the canvas is dry, these drops aren't going to spread. And I'm leaving my raccoon face open so that I can get a few of those little speckles on his face. We don't want it totally devoid of snowflakes. I've decided the transition between the tree and the raccoons a little too stark. So I'm going to go back and scrub in a little bit of the neutral gray here and there along that expanse of trunk so that it loses some edges into the raccoon. I had previously taken white kind of all the way down that edge and I just decided that's a little too unnatural looking. So I'm scrubbing in some of this neutral gray and just breaking up that that line of the trunk. Add a little bit of black back into that. Then to um, bring that back into the painting, I'm covering most of the raccoon, leaving a little space there on the edge of the tree and I'm going to re-spatter with some white snowflakes. Then remove the paper towel and keep spattering, you know, just trying to direct where you put the, the spatters. Uh, you don't want that real sharp line down the edge of the tree. So I'm just trying to soften these back into it. And if you, you get any spatters that you think are a little too, too heavy or some place you don't want keep a, a damp paper towel handy and you can just kind of blot any off that you don't want. That one there on the side of the face was a little too too heavy. So now we're finished painting the snowy day raccoon and I hope you enjoyed this project. Visit my YouTube site for more painting videos.